In a recent Debate Teacher Reacts video, it was Mike Winger versus Matt Dillahunty. I did this. But these are things. <laughs> oh, my God. He turned me into Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about that. Thanks very much for watching this video, friends. I'm just so grateful that you are here and that you are interacting with the materials on this channel. Um, let me uh, let me do two things. Let me explain um, my reaction, and then let me go ahead and give an apology for my behavior. When I make these Debate Teacher Reacts videos, I'm not sitting down over a period of several weeks and sort of like, you know, watching a clip and then going away and thinking about it and then coming back and, you know, reacting to it and then splicing all of it together in like 15 to 30 minutes. To record a Debate Teacher Reacts video is just as long as it takes for the actual segment. Um, so in other words, these things are happening in real time. Uh, my goal in making uh, videos like this is not exactly, it's not primarily that you agree with me, okay? Because I understand that a lot of um, skeptics and atheists are coming to this channel and they're interacting with them uh, th with the videos as well. As a matter of fact, you know, you could walk away from these videos either, you know, a little bit more convinced that the Christian worldview is true or a little bit more convinced that it's not true. Okay. And that's, that's fine because that's not my primary goal. My primary goal is to use my background as a public debate teacher to elevate the level of discourse when it comes to debates, particularly debates in the area of theology and apologetics, because I'm convinced that, especially in apologetics, the, the level of discourse in debate has gone down. What I want to see are the best arguments that could possibly be brought to the table, thrown into the mix, and people are just wrestling with the best argumentation so that they can walk away the most informed. Because people who are genuinely seeking truth, they need to wrestle with the best kinds of arguments. And again, I'm not seeing that in these kinds of debates. And so that's my primary goal. Going into this particular debate with Matt Dillahunty, and you've seen my other previous comments, when he made the statement that the death of Jesus is totally irrelevant to whether he resurrected, or in terms of evidence, or something like that, whatever it was, I started to laugh, and in my mind, I was, I was reacting to the absurdity of the statement, uh, in my opinion. What I was not doing was um, laughing at the man or making a mockery of him. Um, and if you saw later on in the video, I was saying, this guy is a dead ringer for a, fam a close family member of mine that I care about a great deal. Um, so uh, that was not my intention, but I definitely see how it was taken as such. And so I need to apologize. I should not have done that. I should not have reacted in that way. I should not have laughed. Um, I should have just focused on the issues and the statement itself. Um, and look, at the end of the day, I'm called to a higher standard of behavior. And I, I didn't do that. And so I'm, I'm really sorry. It matters uh, not a whit whether or not you know, Matt Dillahunty or people who agree with him call themselves to a higher standard of behavior. The fact is I'm called to a higher standard of behavior and um, I just need to ensure that moving forward, I hold myself to that higher standard. Um, I thought about actually going in and deleting the clip from the previous video. I wonder if it might be better if I just leave my mistake in there and then provide a link to this particular apology video so that people can understand, look, I'm, <laughs> I made a mistake and I apologize for it. And, uh, you know, moving forward, I'm probably going to make some more mistakes, you know. Uh, having said all of that, uh, I truly am sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. And moving forward, I will make sure not to, not to react in that particular way again. Thank you for taking the time to watch this little video. And God willing, I will see you on the next one.